All right, guys, here's a quick little video for you today. Now, all we're doing is simply replacing a motor on an exhaust fan. The other exhaust fan I deemed bad because I had voltage to the motor, but no movement in the motor. Now, since it was such a simple job, I didn't plan on filming any of it. However, it got kind of weird, so I turned my camera on. If you look at my volts right there, you'll see 120 volts. Now this motor is wired up for low voltage, meaning my blue and my orange are going to be connected and insulated, and my black and red are basically my line voltage. I have no movement. Now you're probably saying, well, I just have a bad motor. So what we did is we connected to that motor over there, that working one. We just ran power from it over here and verified that this motor does in fact work with 120 volts ran to it. The confusing part is this 120 volt line, like I can touch it on the ground, I can touch it, I can touch the motor, I could probably stick my tongue right on it. It doesn't short out, I don't get zapped, but yet I'm still measuring 120 volts right there. I know there's got to be some smart guys out there watching, so if any of you guys can explain to me how this phenomenon is happening, and I do have proper ground, so, and that still wouldn't explain how I can just touch this and not get zapped. So any of you guys out there that are smarter than me, help me out and explain to me how this is working. Because I'm curious and I want to know. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Let's talk about that video you just watched. So as you've seen, I can measure 121 volts on that line to ground, to neutral. Uh, wherever I measured it, I was getting a potential difference of 121 volts. And even though I was measuring 121 volts, I wasn't getting any movement in the motor. Um, I, as you've seen, I touched the um, 120 volt line to ground and I didn't get any sparks. It didn't short out. I touched it myself. I didn't get zapped, which I highly recommend you don't ever do. Don't ever touch live wires. That's my warning. So with that being said, my only thought is that it's back feeding somehow that I'm, I don't want to say I'm getting some sort of ghost voltage, but I, I feel I'm getting some sort of ghost voltage that I'm, I'm not actually getting, I'm somehow measuring 121 volts, but I'm not actually getting the voltage that actually does any work. If that makes any sense. Again, I'm not an electrician and, um, I really have no idea. I've never seen anything like this before. I've seen similar instances with uh, low voltage, with low voltage shorts, um, but with a low voltage short, unless you have something crazy going on, and usually it just, you know, pops our little, our little three or five amp fuse on the transformer, but um, this, never seen this before. So I guess uh, if any of you guys out there, like I said in the video, have any clue what's going on here, let me know. In the meantime, I've uh, told the customer to go ahead and get an electrician in to come in and uh, inspect the lines, the breakers, all that fun stuff. So, but yeah, guys, shoot me some comments. Um, in the description, there'll be a, a link to my email. So go ahead and uh, shoot me an email if you want with any questions, suggestions, ideas. Let me know what you think. Even if you're not right, I don't care. I'm just curious to see uh, what you guys think about this whole situation. Have you seen this before? I never have. So let me know, guys. All right. And again, I appreciate you guys watching out there. All right. You know, go ahead and hit that like button for me and, uh, you know, why not subscribe while you're at it? All right. We'll see you on the next one.